was in those hippie catacombs of Matala. Yeah. Freak Bonfire, Crete, August 1969. Sphinx is taking delivery of 400 kilograms of the world's best hashish. Yeah, assassin hashish from the Yarkon Valley up in Chitral, northwest frontier of Pakistan. Yeah, it's on the way. It's on his private yacht. It's already come through the Suez Canal. And uh, tonight there's like this huge bonfire uh, at the base of the Matala Catacombs. These are caves. Uh, hippies have taken over and have made a fun camp out of hippies from all nations. Yeah, flam most flamboyant party in the history of the Greek islands. Pagan fertility, right? <laughs> yeah. Roaring bonfire. Uh, hippies uh, playing music, uh, smoke monster chillums, uh, weathered hashish trail freaks uh, seasoned from the road from Istanbul to Kathmandu and and down to Goa. And uh, yeah, they want to get it on with each other uh, spiritually, uh, sexually, and look at it. If you can't score a uh, uh, Hashish craze, nubile, a hippie body to make love with tonight. You might as well just pack up that Indian shoulder bag, catch the next flight to Athens, and uh, uh, so uh, here's what comes down. Uh, yes, thanks. Uh, the Egyptian master hashish uh, smuggler and uh, LSD chemist. <laughs> from San Francisco. Uh, finishing touches. Shipments coming in. And uh, he's talking who uh, with Biozone, who's the premier hashish dealer in the Greek islands and who's buying for $240,000 uh, this literally boatload of primo hashish. Yeah, yeah. So the two dealers are chatting, yeah. A, a little bit away from the bonfire, and they're enthusiastic. Um, but the wily bi biozone, I mean, he's from London, he's the biggest dealer on the continent. He says to Sphinx, uh, Sounds cool to me. 400 kilograms, uh, you know, over 800 pounds, uh, $800 a kilogram. Two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Yeah, cool. Price, no problem. It's the quality. I worry about my reputation. I mean, is your assassin absolutely hundred percent top connoisseur grade? You know what I mean. Slightly moist black hashish cake. Well, the handsome Sphinx from Alexandria runs his fingers through his salt and pepper beard, chuckling benevolently. <laughs> yeah. uh, my shaman brotherhood of California, we only handle assassin grade. Uh, from the Archon Valley, uh, north of Chitral, I mean, it's impossible to get there. Uh, unless you got a four-wheel drive convoy, of jeeps and well-armed <laughs> bodyguards. Uh, yeah, remote uh, remote Pakistan territory. And I control the whole operation. Well, um, prison season, duh. Buys on, uh, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's done his prison time on drug charges. And, uh, yeah, Sphinx. Could you fill me in? Just kind of paint me a picture. I know you can't say everything, but, like, what was the process like? I, just help me out here with a little more. Okay. Sphinx continues on. Look. On the Pakistan side, this was organized by the queen of the kingdom herself, Queen Latif. And she guided the mule caravan. They started out with eight, 
There's a gun battle. Uzbeks ambushed them. Three mules went down. They, they kept the whole load, uh, though, and uh, were successful in bringing that down through back ways. Uh, they saw no border checks, no passport checks. This is all just free wild country. And they got it to the Khyber Pass. I met them there. I'm not going to say exactly where, but along the Khyber Pass. And I brought with me my Afraidy tribesmen, specialists in smuggling. We had two Bedford trucks manufactured in England. Lorries, you know, painted with the animals and colors and zadis and, you know, Hindu gods and goddesses. So they, they do those vehicles up like Burning Man art projects. Only they've been doing it for centuries. Yeah, we got it. We got it down. Um, uh, and I was with them and uh, uh, onto my yacht, the World Peace Yacht, which is on its way here. Right now, uh, my captain, Bluebeard, uh, he's left Alexandria, Egypt, and he's crossing the Libyan Sea, sailing, and uh, meet me at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, Red Beach. Let's get that brick of cash, and you know, we only take $100 Yankee bills here. Uh, and the drugs together at the same time. Drugs and cash together at the same time? <laughs> Bedrock of hippie dealing. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, then from Karachi, uh, I flew uh, back to Grizz and here, and uh, yeah. Look at a uh, biozone, okay? We are not mere merchants. We're psychedelic visionaries. We produce this uh, world's best LSD to turn on planet Earth, all humanity, anything that will open its mouth, uh, we're going to put in LSD. Then Sphinx, uh, he uh, he uh, he spaces out on nothingness and a silence as he gazes toward the pyramids of Egypt. 